Hey guys, thanks for stopping in and watching this video. Just a quick heads up, we got a Road to 5K giveaway going on, so make sure you check the link in the description below to enter. Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. Uh, last episode, we made it to this planet here that had selenium. I need to see kind of where I am in terms of what I need to make more capacitors. I can make another one. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, so the next thing to do would be to check to see uh, what I need for circuits. I always forget. So I need heat capacitors. I need polyfibers now. Polyfibers. I just need more star bulbs. Oh, there are star bulbs everywhere. Okay, we can go get some star bulbs. So I have, uh, I know I have at least 200 cactus slush. I just need a total of 400 star bulbs. And I think we can do that. I think we could probably do that in the system too. Could be wrong, but I think. Oh yeah, we're, we're totally good on cactus slush. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this planet. All those times I was complaining about star bulbs and I actually still needed them. That's funny. That's how it goes with me, though. One thing at a time. That's all it is. Okay. What do you have? Aluminium? Oh, wait. Unmapped? Oh, okay. That's an airless planet. Okay. It's frost crystals. Star bulb. Star bulb. Let's do it. The bountiful planet. By the way, you have a good voice. I think it'll be brilliant. But knowing you, I figure it would take some takes. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, yeah, there, there's there's a lot of a lot of back and forth with uh, recording it and stuff because I, I recorded the first section, and I mean it, it is something I'm I'm not really gonna. It's I don't think struggle is the right word, but it's something I'm definitely gonna have to work to complete. But. With the, uh, the ear I have for, like, perfection, I guess, I, I always try to strive for perfection. I know it's unattainable, but, um, like, I'll take a take as many times as necessary to make it sound right, and I'm okay doing that work. As long as I can produce something that you guys can enjoy and something that TJ can, you know, think that I am uh, doing his book justice, of course, I'm okay with that. Oh, well, look at that. That's that's handy. It's like 98% perfect, but it's close enough to to not need to be re-recorded. <laughs> that's just my take, though. I'm glad you say that, though, TJ. I appreciate that. So for those of you uh, who did not catch the announcement, announcement you know, probably for the uploaded version of this. TJ and I will be working on a an audiobook, and uh, I'll I'll start putting links to the uh, Kickstarter page and everything down in the description of my videos. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. What is that? Marine? Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. Does this stuff sell for a lot? I think it does. 1980X has been quiet-ish. Yeah, I'm sure they're... Well, they their project was successfully funded, so I'm assuming that they're uh, now working on it. Yeah. Yeah, they exploded. It went boom. Okay, how much do those things sell for, though? Uh, not as much as I thought. I'll probably just go ahead and continue just looking for the uh, star bulbs. Oh, boy. Let's not fall down into there. Always need the amium. Yes, please. Yes, please. I wonder if there's going to be like 
stuff in the water. That would be expensive, like uh, aqua spheres, I think they're called. We're checking out. Should be good. Turn my flashlight on. That'd be good, nice. Yeah, there we go. I forget that I have that. Must there be something that absolutely won't see my face down here? Just immediately. for the scanner to recharge. You have made zero nerd coins? Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I don't know. It's that's that's somewhat frustrating. I what is that? Is that what I'm looking for? No, that's iron. Okay. I don't think there are any spheres down here. There may be, but I'm good. Oh, about to run out of O2. There we go. Oh boy, that was fun. <laughs> All right, star brambles, star bulbs, where are you at? May have to hop around a little bit. One of these days. What is that? That's an interesting way to do iron. I'm bright and I can buy a bean for the last episode. Yeah, there you go. But I mean... You're just talking about Mixer, though, right? I mean, you're getting them on Twitch and YouTube, right? The scanner might give you more. Oh, really? Okay. make sure okay yeah I don't know oh it did give me aluminum there that's interesting I'll have to start doing that you have to pardon me I, I came in like old school like the stuff used to not be around at the early stages of this game when it was first released I mean I, maybe it didn't maybe it was and I'm incorrect there but I need to get in the habit of things I'm doing things a little bit more properly Come on, scan. What's that sound? That was weird. Seek in plutonium. It's from the last update. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I just, I just need to get better at it. But thanks for uh, pointing it out, though. <laughs> you accidentally see in a rock, yeah? Hey, when that happens, freaking rocks. 
Now, is this the same with like plutonium and stuff? Oh no. Okay. Let's uh fill up some stuff. That didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, John, I think you'd enjoy this game. Like, this game really, honestly, if you, if you just pop it in, you got nothing else to do for the afternoon. You just kind of want to sit and chill and zone out and explore. This game's great for that. I'm going to make my way over. this station. Oh, here we go. Ouch. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Still gonna need a little bit more than that, though. Let's do what we need to do. Making progress, though. Not even one to deal with that smacker plant thing. Oh, look! It's an outpost that I could take stuff from. I think I'm out of inventory space, though. That would be correct. Okay. So let's bring back this. Go ahead and charge up our starship. I did not mean to do that, thank you. Okay, there's that. Hmm. So what would I need in order to make more warp cells? Themium, of course. Always themium. Always themium. Um, hmm. Okay, so we have 150 star bulbs here. We have 75 there. Let's go ahead and transfer those items over. Probably the cactus flesh, too. And then what about these things? Don't really need carbon. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of want to put my selenium in the ship, though. So let's bring back. Let's bring back gold. I could probably go ahead and fix one of these, right? Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Okay. Selenium over. Cool. And then I can push over. What? Any clusters? And then the iron, probably. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> okay. So, um, next, 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 next. Uh, let's let's check to see how many more of what we need. So we can make one polyfiber now, and that means we can make. I think it means we can make our circuit board, but we need to have a second circuit board. So we need more polyfiber. So we just need, what, 175 more star bulbs? Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I can, right? That's that's the reason why I'm doing it. <laughs> Okay. Let's maybe hop over to another area. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's just the robots protecting it, right? It's not hurting anything. Yeah, the pink sky is really pretty. Agreed. What mind if I do? Oh, that's really pretty. That is gorgeous. It's a really pretty planet. If it wasn't like fully water world like this, I'd consider making a base here. Here we go. Absolutely, John. I think so. Personally. There it is. All right, 150 left. <laughs> Take a little bit of time. Maybe we're worth it. Uh, you can build multiple bases, I think, but I'm just thinking, I don't, I don't know if this is going to be worth the effort in creating a second base. Often when I find the right planet, I will totally make a new base. Just, uh, this one's like 80, 75% as far as I want it. Like, like I said, like if it's a, like a lush planet in kind of this coloration, I would totally do it. But for right now, I'm good. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and call the ship over. I'll go ahead and hop over to another part of the planet. We'll find it eventually. All the stuff we need. So we got a hole of doom there. Probably gonna need to hang out in my ship for a while until the storm passes.
My inventory is full though, so it's not gonna help us out. I'm going to. Hmm. I think I'm gonna run back to the station, sell some stuff, and then come back down here because I don't want to sit here and just wait for the storm to pass. I don't need slots in my inventory open. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Okay. Where is the station? There it is. Our level system is to kind of just reward those that come and hang out for a while. So it does make sense. It just doesn't if you, like, never really hung out before. <laughs> okay. Let's go sell stuff. <laughs> oh, that's funny how that timed out. Turwalk. Hello again. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell stuff. Um, let's get rid of the Ifuji. Don't need the carrots here right now. Marine. Gold. Armonium can go. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, I think that's perfectly good. Uh, it, it has to do with how much you're you're active in chat, Calvin. Okay, you are gonna have weapon stuff. So oh, we've already been up here. What am I? What am I even doing? Okay, let's talk to you again. Okay, I wonder sometimes if we truly are born as others are. And there was just uh, there was just the crashed ship. And then this, isn't it strange? Born to a life of trading and accumulation without beginning or end. Uh, let's do ask where they come from. Traveler Nuke offers directions to a place of interest. Yeah, interesting. Go check that out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we wanted to do. Okay, let's go check that out, because I'm curious. Is that where we were anyway? Yeah, oh no, that was the first selenium. Yeah, let's go check it out. It's going to take a little bit of time to get over here. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. not really the same game I mean it, it's it's a similar genre uh, you know it's the same idea of like going out and exploring and stuff but the, the games are very uh, mechanically different in my opinion like you could sit down and play Subnautica and have a completely different experience than playing this game
or not you could, but you would have. Excuse me. It's not like there's a situation where you'd play this game and play some knock and be like, oh, that was the same thing that happened in both games. Was that? Oh, okay. I knew I was close. Just didn't know how close. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Hi, buddy. Trace signal to Corvax. I wanted to something granted with convergence in exchange for something. The price extraction from my mind. Their wrist something recovered. Again, there's something. Lied to us. Convergence. A bet something. Sentinels provided with tribute. Carapace to something. Corvax helped them. Seal, they're coming. Please fire, please step back. I something okay. That, 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 what <laughs> the fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Let's extract that, please. Obtain the glyph within with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I'll leave the fallen traveler in peace. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Temperature levels. So good. There we go. Here's my ship. There it is. Ow. Didn't need those ankles anyway. Temperature Fuel my thrusters. Pulse engine. I think that's good. All right, let's head back over to that planet that has the uh, star bulbs. Okay. Ooh, not far enough off. So that one has star bulbs. What about that one? That one had star bulbs too. Let's go to that one. See if we have any more luck finding star bulbs. So cannot believe the timing of that. I think I leveled near the start of the stream. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny how that worked out. I think the bot's mocking you at this point. A viridescent planet. Hmm. So, Poke, what's up, man? I see you're, uh, you're early to the stream today. So, yeah, I don't know what uh, viridescent would be. So that's going to be interesting. You don't like mocking bots? Oh, no. <laughs> well, John, that's, that's rough. That's rough. All right, I'm almost there. <laughs> okay, question is, are we going to be able to make it over there on one thing of fuel? Or am I going to have to stop? I mean, can I refuel while we're going now? Yeah, nice. I didn't realize you could refuel while you're, while you're going. So no, we don't have to stop. <laughs> Watch us cleaned up dinner. Glad to be in early to the stream. It's a refreshing change of pace. <laughs> All right. Of course there is. All right, let's see what viridescent means. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to 
try to find a somewhat flat area to land. Over oh, there, it looks nice. All right. Don't kick me out. Thank you. Okay, cool. The colors of the planet hurt your eyes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, but guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, we'll explore this planet a little bit. Hopefully find our, what, 150 star bulbs. And then uh, that way we can make both circuit boards. And then that way we can continue with uh, the one base mission. And then the uh, we'll have one component for the uh, the mind arc thing that we need to do for the, uh, the Artemis mission. So guys, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like what I do, hit the like button. If you want to help my channel grow, guys, share my videos, share my live streams, leave likes, leave comments, all that good stuff. Because the more you guys participate, the bigger we grow. Definitely want to do that. So definitely appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. And uh, just a heads up, we got a giveaway going on. So make sure you check the link in the description for more information. So guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.